Welcome back everyone to another Pokemon Sword and Shield opening. I'm Moana Turtle and today we're going to be finishing off a booster box that we kind of already started because of the ETB opening had basically no pulls so I pulled like a handful of packs out, eight packs actually, so which means there are 28 left in this box and I'm always curious about kind of like pull metrics and stuff like that so from those eight packs we did pull two ultra rares and a caldeo and cramoran v but you know these ones aren't super exciting so i'm kind of hoping there's still plenty of good cards in this box and you know i kind of like to just kind of keep track of that kind of data the two boxes we opened so far have been great uh, has been some kind of commonality between the two each pulling a snorlax v max as well as a zacian gold card so I'm not sure we'll be able to match that, but we're going to give it a try. And uh, yeah, actually from that video, which was on Monday, the reason we opened that ETB was to announce that we are going to be giving away an ETB. So if you haven't entered that giveaway, make sure you check out that video. All right, let's see. We got an Ordinary Rod. Uh, I feel like it's a pretty good card, so I'm going to set it off to the side. Then we got Diglett, Skaroopy, Hootoot, a Score Bunny, Pikachu. A Thievil, and for our first pack, we have oh, a Lapras V. Now we have the full art Lapras V. Uh, this is, I think, this is the first Lapras full art we pulled. Uh, I think, ironically, when we started opening some online packs, we pulled like three of this card, or at least two. And then, when as we were doing the pack giveaways, I think viewers they pulled another two more from some packs that we gave out. And speaking of pack giveaways, so as always, uh, if you haven't caught any of our Twitch streams, we do online pack giveaways throughout our streams, and we stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Evenings at 7 p.m. EST, so if you have any interest in PTCGO, trying to uh, maybe want to learn a little bit about the current meta, uh, I try to navigate it <laughs> to the somewhat best of my abilities, usually with the much assistance from chat. And yeah, I'll usually try to put together uh, pretty strong decks, pretty top tier decks, although usually I like to also try some of my own stuff. We recently learned how to play Expanded and put together a Turbo Dark deck, which is actually really fun to play. So if you haven't, if you haven't checked it out, please do. And yeah, uh, we do plenty of giveaways. And I always mention Twitch, and we do stream on YouTube as well. However, the reason I mention Twitch is because we are able to do, Twitch has integrations with different things, and there's uh, some efficient ways to do giveaways. I'm not aware of a good way to do them on YouTube. But if there is one, uh, big charm, this could be a useful card. Let me know what it is, and it would be good to kind of like do the giveaways through both, just so you know the viewership is kind of a balance between the two. But anyway, on to this back to this opening. So far, we got one full art pull, and then another cramorant of the non V variety. And sometimes, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think back to our previous boxes. I feel like it's like one or two full arts and then a secret rare. Metal Saucer, very good card. Ooh, this is a pretty good pack as far as the uncommons go. I want both of these in old, uh, in gold. Those would be amazing. I feel like those will be super useful for a long time to come. Snom. And, ooh, Celeb this is our first Celebi V, I think. All right, let's see. Search for a friend, search your deck for two Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into... To your hand a lot of cards have that attack and then line force this attack does 20 more damage for each of your bench pokemon so let's just assume you can have five 150 for two energy isn't bad but i'm not sure if this is strong enough for anything like the find a friend yeah a lot of cards have that and then the line force isn't that strong i don't think it's enough good enough reason to use celebi v I feel like Celebi usually has some kind of like devolve mechanic, but nothing on that one. All right, Pokemon Catcher. Obviously, that's one we'll set aside. Hoot Hoot. Is this another recycled art? As I continue to open this, I keep realizing like, oh, this one. Either I've just been opening this enough where I <laughs> mistake it for recycled art because I've been opening Sword and Shield Packs, or it is one. 
and I only it only now just occurred to me. All right, we might pick up the pace a little bit so this video doesn't have to be as long. All right, Ferrothorn, Qfunt, Baltoy, a Salandit, also kind of looks familiar. Nocto with that carry off ability, and Marpeco. Okay, so far we got two hits. Drizzle. Evolution Incense, another very solid uncommon from this set. Sometimes I feel like the uncommons are going to be the uh, what this set comes out of, like, you know, as being the top cards. Alright, but we do are oh, outside of Zacian. And then uh, Galarian Obstagoon is a pretty good, cool card and actually this kind of goes against what I was just saying uh, but untamed shout basically when you play this at, via evolution you put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon and then uh, obstruct for two energy one dark and 90 damage during your opponent's next turn prevent all damage done by from basic Pokemon done to this Pokemon so it doesn't affect it's affecting Galarin Obstagoon not your opponent Pokemon's meaning if they switch doesn't matter uh, so I guess if you're against I heard this is a potential counter to like the ADP Zacian because there's obviously no evolutions going on there. That could be a kind of a lock. And I think their only out is to like double gust it, where they kind of use two Pokemon catchers, which each is a coin flip. So it could be a little difficult. Uh, let's see, I guess you could also use uh, the Fion, actually, is another out. Gossifleur, Silicabra, a Vulpix. And Noctowl. So I definitely don't think it's a top tier deck, but the one that I've, I'm still trying to make work is that Meowth v the Cats deck. And I think it'll have no problem against Galarian Obstagoon. You just use a VMAX Meowth. Pokemon Catcher. Ponyard. Sizzlepeed. Clovopus. And a Hop. And a Sendicabra. I feel like we pull so many of those cobras, cobras, those snake Pokemon. All right, where is that secret rare? From an opening perspective, saving it towards the end is kind of a nice thing for <laughs> to build up excitement, but it always does make me nervous. There have been times where we've opened boxes without a secret rare. Galarian Berserker. This is the card we got from pre-release. But yeah, make sure you do enter that giveaway. Again, all you have to do is uh, like, subscribe, and leave a comment with hashtag thanks Garfield. Alright, Pharaoh Seed, a clay doll. Is that a what is that? Is that a Breloom back there? And then a Roserade. Mega Drain, heal 30, yeah, that's that. All right, let's see. Let's start finding some more professor's research. I think I only have one so far, which kind of boggles my mind. And we have pulled a good amount of Marnies. Probably more than we'll need at any point. But definitely want that full art Marnie. Intellion. People say, or I think a lot of people, like the other Intellion does two to two trainers is hard to top that, but I feel like this card isn't too bad. It can, it's just disruption, either the hand or energy. Both are pretty energy efficient though. So it's hard to make the case for this one. Ooh, all right. We got something, you can tell by the side. What's it gonna be? Is this our secret rare? Let's see, condition, ooh, is there? Actually, it's weird. There's like whitening on the card. I can't tell what that's from. All right. Barrow of Thorn. Judging by how the dark the border was, I'm guessing this is going to be a V Pokemon. We got a Minchino. And then a Regirock V. Uh, let's see. Raging Hammer. 30 plus 10 more damage for each damage counter in this Pokemon. It does have 210 HP. Not too bad. And then this attack does 30 damage to itself. Ooh, I definitely don't like that. 
I guess, yeah, it's supposed to power up your other attack, but... Not a fan of that way to do it. Not <laughs> going about it in that fashion. Alright, we got a pal pad. Another useful card. Chincho. Krabby. Minchino. Clobopus. Hey, alright, we got a regular Marnie. It's good to pull these. But yeah, looking for those researches over the Marnie right now. Unless it's going to be the full art. And please don't give me another full art beanie. Uh, that's like a very bittersweet uh, pull right there. Roar and you will put that off the side. It's used in a lot of ADP decks. Double. And then Stojourner. Alright, winding down. Ah, no, we still got a good amount. I take that back. Vitality Band. Actually, I've seen some people use this. It just, like, 10 damage? That's it? What what numbers does that work out to where you just needed 10 damage to get the knockout? Pincherin. Pincherchin. Goldeen. And then a Clay Doll. Ah, if you are a fan of Hidden Fates and you haven't seen our video where we show off our... Hidden Fates, actually I'm going to call it our, yeah, let's call it the Hidden Fates Binder. It's pretty special. It's not a master set, but it is a little bit of a spin where we don't have just the English set, but the Japanese as well. And then they got me thinking, I wonder how difficult it would be to pick up a Korean version and then potentially a Japanese version. And I was looking through like listings for the singles. And actually, it just seems like there's just a very low supply um, for people actually selling them. And then the only listings that they do have are kind of like more than I'm looking to spend to pick up that set. But I think it's just a thing where the demand was never really there. Therefore, the supply isn't there, which is kind of disappointing. Because like the Korean boxes, at least, are pretty or cheap and like $30. Okay, another V card, Tapu Koko. Uh, spike draw 20 and then Thunder's Bolt can't use this attack next turn. Oh, next, you, you can't attack at all, but it does deal 200. Yeah, the Korean boxes weren't too bad. I think it was for 15 packs for $30. But definitely, after all that work for Hidden Face, we're definitely not going the cracking packs and pulling a master set or all the ultra rares and better, all the shinies and whatnot. But we'll keep an eye out for that. I think it would be a pretty cool collection to have like all the ultra shiny slash hidden fate stuff in in every printed language. At least maybe we can do probably like the charts. I'll keep an eye out for a Chinese Charizard. We did manage to pull a Korean one before Hidden Fates dropped. So it'd be cool to have all four of them. Joltik, Silicabra. Ordinary Rod, Reverse, and ooh, Vic I think this is our first Victini V, and this one, I think, does have some potential. Attach up to three Fire Energy from Discard Pile to Pokemon any way you like. Energy Burst, uh, 30 damage for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. Okay, I think uh, like Lele had an attack like that. I think the only problem with these, some of these cards, is like they have their, they could have their uses, but if ADP Zacian is rampant, and this is, you know, can't be giving away easy three prize knockouts like that where especially if this if it's sometimes his main use is going to be to spread flames and kind of like set up for the next attack just don't have enough time to use that or rather better off finding a way for a non GX non V card to do that kind of stuff all right let's see Rook D Silly Cabra and then a bolt and all right let's just do a quick hit count one two three four five six seven Ooh, actually that's kind of high maybe this will be one of those boxes without a secret rare i'm not sure we had a box with more than eight poles so unless the last one is just gonna be a secret all right this is that moment or that time where it's like all right maybe this will just be a last a good like oh phew we got it at the end but until then Gets a little nerve-wracking, Corviknight. 
and then a lantern. Okay, we have about five packs remaining. All right, let's get that secret rare so I can uh, stop sweating this, this opening. Pokemon Catcher, Hunter, Vital let's start putting away those Vitality Bands. Baltoy, Wooloo, Durant, and then a, oh, yes! <laughs> All right. Oh, and I first saw the rainbow, like, I, it flashed back to when we pulled that rainbow beanie. I was like, no! All right, we got the rainbow Marnie. This is the secret rare that we wanted most. It looks like it's pretty off-center. Like, this is definitely thicker on this side than that side. So not something we'll send off to PSA, but yes, this was the card I wanted as far as the rainbow goes. And yeah, now I now I really want the full art, not just to have all the Marnies, but because I think that one looks better. So, wow, another great opening, another great box. And yeah, that's eight hits. That's probably going to be it for this box. But we still got three packs. Maybe we can still... Let's get a Professor's Research. How about that? Severely lacking on that card. We got a Mana. And... Oh, wow. How, that's a lot. Of, all right, we'll count all the hits at the end. We got the Cramorant V Full Art. And you know what? Now that there's not like a rainbow of every Ultra Rare, I feel like to get all the Ultra Rares is... You know, especially if you... You know, you open, let's, I don't know, a handful of boxes, or if you can open a handful of boxes, then you just need to pick up a few secret rares, which uh, which we'll do a Pokemart on soon if we haven't already. Because I think they're actually not that expensive. So I can't say I'm that interested in having like a binder collection for the whole Sword and Shield set, but I feel like it's very doable. Just because like, yeah, I don't need to get the full art of this random V card and then the rainbow of everything. And I wonder if that's why, uh, like, people have been saying, oh, Slicing is not that hard to pull. It's because there's not a rainbow of every card. So just the pool of rainbow slash gold cards is not as big as other sets. Then, as a result, maybe that just means that single prices are pretty low, which is, I think, good for everyone. All right, this is finally our last pack, and then we'll do count, because I think we got an insane amount of hits. Pokemon Catcher. All right, last pack is a Pal Pad Reverse, and then a Musharna. All right, let's see. Got a Cramorant V. Ah, that Golden Marnie. You're going to be in our background probably for a while. That's three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, we didn't do it all in the same video, uh, but nine hit box is a new record uh, for ourselves. I think we've been getting like eights or seven. So very happy with the results, and we got the card we're looking for. Ah. I feel like we're, we're pretty good at this set. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you do enter that ETB giveaway video or enter that ETB giveaway. And uh, yeah, I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.